Elevators, Troy Dean here from WP Elevation and welcome to another Facebook live stream. Uh, in this video we are talking about how to make WordPress better for your clients. Uh, the default experience of WordPress when you unpack it out of the box. Hey, g'day, David Murren. Thanks for joining us there. The default experience of WordPress when you unpack it out of the box. There's a little bit of a learning curve if you log in and you've never seen WordPress before. And so in this video, we're going to talk about how to make WordPress a better experience for your clients. Hey, Colleen Gratzer, how you doing? Loretta Bridges, Ryan O'Donnell, thanks for joining in uh, the show here. If you like WordPress and you build WordPress websites for clients, please click the like button or the love button near this video and share this with any other of your colleagues who you think might benefit because what I'm about to show you right now is a very uh, simple trick that you can use uh, with a predominantly a free plugin that I'm going to tell you about uh, that will allow you to completely streamline the WordPress login experience for your clients so that when they log in, they have an amazing experience and they're presented with a very useful business dashboard rather than the generic WordPress dashboard, which can be a little bit confusing if you're not used to it. Hey, Tanner, thanks for joining in the show. So um, if you, as I said, if you uh, build WordPress websites for clients uh, like this, and please feel free to share it with any colleagues who you think might find this helpful. I'm going to go and share my screen right now, so I'm just going to pop over to the screen sharing section here, and uh, here we go. Now, this is the default WordPress dashboard. Uh, well, actually, not quite the default. There's a couple of plugins I've got installed here. I've got Yoast SEO installed. I've got WP Rocket installed. Um, but generally speaking, the WordPress dashboard, when you log in, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the WordPress dashboard which doesn't really make sense uh, it makes sense to you and I, but it doesn't make sense to the client, you know, at a glance, activity. If I come over here and click on activity, uh, it shows here, you know, recently published, recent comments. This is all very confusing for the client. And, uh, then, you know, generally what happens is they end up asking you a lot of questions. They'll end up asking you questions like, what are these WordPress events and news coming up? What's this speeding up WordPress in Sydney? Is my web, is my website slow? Do I need to speed it up? Should I go along to this meetup in Parramatta? And you just end up answering a whole bunch of questions that are unnecessary. So what we like to do instead is we like to give them what we call a very useful business dashboard, which looks a little bit something like this. So you'll notice a couple of things. First of all, there are less menus on the left-hand side. In fact, if I had this set up uh, properly, there would be even less menus here. I'd take out Jetpack, I'd take out Knowledge Base, I'd take out Media, I'd take out Settings and Short Codes and Redirects, I'd lose all of those menus. And what I've replaced on the dashboard here is I've, I've gotten rid of all of the standard WordPress panels on the dashboard and I've replaced it with three standard panels. The first one is a welcome panel which says, hey, welcome to your new website. Watch this two minute video to learn how to get started. They click on play and it basically says, it shows them how to use this dashboard. This is a generic video I made once, as you can see. I'm a lot younger in this video than I am now. Um, and uh, that is apparent just to prove a point here. Let me just come back over here, show what I look like today. And now we'll go back to the screen and you can have a look at what I looked like 10 years ago, or actually probably six years ago. So I made that video once, and now we just use it on all of our client sites. Watch this two minute video to learn how to get started. And then it says here, in the left hand menu, you'll find a link to view all the video tutorials you need to learn how to use your new website to increase leads and sales. And here is a, a link to their video tutorials, which I'll show you in a moment. Then we've got their Google Analytics dashboard set up here, uh, which shows them the last 30 days. And then here we have a little widget called Digital Marketing Tips, and this is just an RSS feed of my blog, so that every time the clients log into their website, they see my blog and I'm top of mind, and they're constantly getting updates from me. Uh, down here I've also... Um, put my link here to my website and I've removed any mention of uh, WordPress, I've removed any nag updates, they won't get a nag saying hey you've got to update WordPress, they won't get any of that stuff because I've turned all that off. And of course I'm just using the white label CMS plugin which is completely free, it's a plugin that we make, um, in fact if you go to um, the WordPress plugin repository and just search white label CMS, it'll come up. 
Uh, it's been over, over 100,000 active installs at the moment and uh, very well updated plugin, very well supported plugin and completely free. So you can do all of this with the White Label CMS plugin. And then of course we install the Video User Manuals plugin, which is another plugin we make, which is a premium plugin. And the Video User Manuals plugin puts about 85 video tutorials in the dashboard to show them how to use WordPress. And what I really like about this plugin is, if I just go back to the dashboard for a second, um, this is this is now what the standard, I've now got the White Label CMS plugin turned off. So this is what the standard WordPress dashboard looks like. If I come up to help, our video tutorials are context sensitive. So the video tutorials you need for this particular page that you're on will be in the little help section up there, okay? So that is the White Label CMS plugin and the video user manuals plugin. And that is just a very, very quick snippet on how we use those two plugins to give our clients an intelligent business dashboard rather than the generic WordPress dashboard. We're going to be sharing more tips like this uh, and a deep dive training on WordPress consulting in general. Uh, the link for that webinar should be uh, in uh, near this video. Uh, it is a free webinar that we're running on over the next uh, five days. We're running it, um, this is US Pacific time, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday and Tuesday, I believe, next week. So there are four options to get on that webinar. It's a completely free webinar where we'll be uh, showing you a couple of the secrets that you can use to up your game as a WordPress consultant, uh, get paid more fees, uh, have less stress in your business, and get higher ticket clients. Uh, so I hope you can join us on that webinar. I hope you found this useful. Uh, again, feel free to hit the like button and please share this with as many WordPress colleagues as you've got. Um, just a very quick snippet on how you can make WordPress a better experience for your clients and add more value to your clients so therefore you can get paid more fees. I hope you found this useful. I look forward to seeing you on the webinar in a couple of days. Hope you can join it. Hope you can join in. Until then, I'm Troy Dean. Go Elevate.